Welcome to Volume 2 of Spend Time with God. Dial 1-800. I love God. This weekly devotion is sponsored by Medina United Methodist Church. Remember each week to bring your journal or sheets of paper to devotions that will enable you to record your thoughts and ideas as you talk to God. Let's begin our time with God. Find a quiet place alone with your God. Center yourself in God's arms. Quiet your mind, body, heart, and soul. Take two deep breaths and let it out slowly. And let us be thankful for today. Let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now take a few minutes and ask God for strength, humility, and compassion. During last week's Volume 1, God spoke to your plan and purpose in life. You heard God tell you. You are loved and cherished. You have nothing to fear. There is nothing you can do wrong. You also heard Scripture. Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Each week, we will review some of the thoughts from the prior week. Now, as you listen to the following statements, contemplate on what you might do to fulfill these statements. Number one, quiet your soul to trust God in all circumstances. Quiet your soul to trust God in all circumstances. Find the pursuit of holiness in your life and in the world. Find the pursuit of holiness in your life and in the world. And last but not least, Love others 
as God has loved you. Love others as God has loved you. Today, you will listen, meditate, and consider the teaching of the Sermon on the Mount and the Beatitudes. I will now read scriptures that tell us how to live a blessed life. As I read, ask yourself, what is God saying to me in these scriptures? Matthew chapter 5, verse 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. You can live a blessed life by pursuing Christ. You can live a blessed a blessed life by pursuing Christ. James chapter 1, verse 22. You can live a blessed life by being a doer of the word and not just a hearer. You can live a blessed life by doing it by being a doer of the word and not just a hearer. Romans chapter 4, verse 8. You can live a blessed life by contemplating the lavishness of God's grace. You can live a blessed life by contemplating the lavishness of God's grace. Now take a few minutes to write down your thoughts about each verse or what you remember that was read. The Bible commentary states the following concerning the Sermon on the Mount and the Beatitudes. And I quote, In the Sermon on the Mount, Jesus reestablished the standard of God's righteousness and calls us to measure up. God loves us even when we fall short, which is most of the time. Yet, as we strive for the righteousness of God, we experience the fullness of God's grace and love, which means we will live a blessed life. The sermon is not a presentation of the plan of salvation nor is it a teaching intending for unsaved people. The sermon is meant for all Christ's followers as qualities of life to be lived. The 
The sermon opens with the Beatitudes or blessings. These set forth the ideal citizen of Christ's kingdom. The Beatitudes offer a roadmap on how to live a pleasing life to God. They encourage humility, compassion, and a strong desire for justice. By following these teachings, Christians can strive to live a life that is not only pleasing to God, but also makes a positive impact on those around us. I would like to summarize for you those two paragraphs. The Sermon on the Mount is the reestablishment of God's righteousness and calls us to measure up because God loves us even when we fall short. The sermon is meant for all Christ followers as qualities that need to be developed in order for us to live our life for Christ. The Sermon on the Mount opens with the Beatitudes, and these are blessings. The Beatitudes are a roadmap they encourage humility, compassion, and a strong desire for justice. And Christians can strive to live this life that is blessed by, please, by being pleasing to God and make a pos positive impact on those around us. I would like you now to reflect on this sentence. What does blessed are the poor in spirit mean? What does blessed are the poor in spirit mean? Take a few minutes and write in your journal or meditate on that sentence. Let us now listen to God's words spoken just for you. Let him whisper into your ear. Your life is enormously valuable. My child, you are the salt of the earth. You are the light of the world. And I love you. Your life is enormously valuable. You are the salt of the earth. 
You are the light of the world. Check in next week for volume three and have a God-filled week. Now close your eyes and listen to the closing song. Thank you for today. At the end of the song, say your own closing prayer. Amen. Teach us how to live. Teach us how to live.